What's going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to do a 2021 NHL playoffs prediction video. Now this is as of the morning of May 2nd, 2021. There is only one game tonight. It involves the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Detroit Red Wings. We will kind of discuss it in a minute, but right now what I have is I have the current brackets for how the playoffs would look. And then I have the standings for the top four teams in each division. So without further ado, we'll jump right in. We'll start with the North. Now the North is led by Toronto, who has 71 points. Edmonton's behind them in second with 62. Winnipeg has 57. Montreal has 55. Now Calgary and Vancouver, who have 47 and 41 points respectively, are both still alive for the playoffs. However, they're not looking good. Both Calgary and uh, Vancouver have been cold of late. Vancouver has five games in hand, so it's possible, but they have not looked good really at all lately. Ottawa is the only team eliminated officially from the North, but this is basically how it's going to look. Now, if you have a star by your name like Toronto does, that means that you have clinched a playoff berth. So how do I have the North looking? So right now, Toronto matches up with Montreal in round one, Edmonton versus Winnipeg. So it's going to be an interesting series here, Toronto v. Montreal. What it's going to come down to is it's going to come down to Carey Price. If he's healthy, it's possible that this game is actually, this series is actually going to be good. But he is still dealing with concussion problems. And uh, Montreal is just not looking that good without him. They're cold of late. So it'll be, it'll be a problem. Uh, trust me, it'll be a bit of a problem for these two teams. So Toronto is actually the complete opposite. They are hot. Now, they recovered from a rough stretch in the middle of May, or in the middle of April, sorry, where they lost a few games that they probably shouldn't have lost. Toronto is currently leading the season series so far, six games to three over Montreal. With Carey Price health in question, it's really a no-doubter to me. Toronto will win this series pretty easily. Now, Edmonton v. Winnipeg, that one will be a bit of a closer series. Maybe. So, Edmonton has been playing well of late. They beat up Montreal, Winnipeg, and Calgary in recent couple in the recent couple of weeks. Those are all three teams that are borderline playoffs. They haven't played Toronto. They haven't recently, but that's okay. Fact is, they beat up Winnipeg. They lead the season series over Winnipeg, seven games to two. On the flip side, Winnipeg is ice cold. They haven't won a game since April 15th. They're 0 and 6 in that time frame. So, I mean, to me, no brainer. Edmonton easily wins this matchup. So that matches up Edmonton versus Toronto in the North Finals. Now, this will be a bit of a closer matchup. It'll be a heavyweight v. heavyweight. You have, of course, McDavid, Dreisaitl taking on the whole lot of Matthews and, of course, Tavares and all of them. So the season series was won by Toronto, seven, six games to three. I think Toronto has enough firepower. I think their goaltending situation is a little better than Edmonton's. So I think Toronto will win this series. I think they're finally going to win their division, make a stand, go into the Final Four. Next, we have the East. So the East is currently led by Pittsburgh, who has 71 points. Washington's in second with 69. The Islanders are in third with 67. Boston's in fourth with 66. Now, Pittsburgh, Washington, and New York have all clinched. So how do I have the East going? Pittsburgh matching up against Boston. That would be a good series right there. So Pittsburgh is hot right now. They just took two crucial games on the road in Washington, which moved them up to the first seed. Those were two key games they needed to win. Boston on the flip side, they are oh so hot. The catch is they have recently been playing Buffalo an awful lot. Five of their past seven games have been against the Sabres. So I don't want to take anything away from Boston, but that is a little bit of concern. If I'm a Bruins fan, I'm not exactly 100% confident on the Bruins if they're beating up Buffalo. Buffalo is Buffalo. Still, this will be a good series, especially since Boston actually won the season series five games to three. But with the way things are currently looking, Pittsburgh is just, they're one of the hottest teams in the league right now. And uh, their goaltending is showing up at the right time. They needed this. They've been waiting for their goaltending to show up. Now, Boston's goaltending is showing up too, but they're giving Tuka Rask a lot of rest. We haven't even really seen Halak lately. They've been using us uh, Swayman a lot least recently in the net which is a little interesting. It makes me wonder if Halak's doing some injury of sorts. Regardless, Pittsburgh has the firepower. Even without Malkin, Pittsburgh should be able to take this series from Boston. 
with it'll be a, it'll be a very close series though. Now Washington v the Islanders will be another very good series. Washington's been streaky of late, but the catch is they've been playing well against the Islanders specifically of late. Now the Islanders on the flip side, they're cool, but they did just take a two game series winning both games against their in-state rival New York Rangers. So they probably eliminated the Rangers in this situation. So I forgot to mention the Rangers are the only other team in the East that are even, even have a sliver of hope. They have 58 points. So yeah, they, they need to get hot and they need Boston to get ice cold right now. Philly, New Jersey, and Buffalo are all eliminated. So really Washington v. New York Islanders will be an interesting series. Washington has won this series in, regu in the regular season, six games to two. I don't see that stopping. Washington's looking good at the right time. Washington will win this series. That matches up Metropolitan Division, Pittsburgh and Washington. These two teams hate each other. This will be one heck of a series. I will watch as many games of this series as I could if it really happens. Now, this is going to be a great series. Pittsburgh beat the Capitals in the, regular, in the series, in the season, six games to two. And like I said, this team is hot. Washington is streaky. Washington got a somewhat easier matchup against the Islanders. This is a team that they can beat. I don't see Pittsburgh slowing down. I hate to say it. I see Pittsburgh winning the East this year. So now we're going to look at the Central. The Central is led by the Carolina Hurricanes, who have 75 points. They're currently in line for the President's Trophy. The Florida Panthers have 73. Tampa Bay Lightning have 71. And then you have a steep drop to get to the National Predators, who have 58. Now, Arizona with 50, San Jose, sorry, Dallas with 55, Chicago with 50 are both still alive in the Central. Now, Columbus and Detroit are both eliminated. Really, Dallas isn't looking that good. It's possible. This is really the only race I can see a team jumping in. It would be Dallas taking out Nashville. It's possible, but it's not likely. Nashville has the inside track. Either way, the team who matches up against Carolina is in for a trouble in for trouble. So Chicago basically done. I don't see Chicago doing anything. So now we get to the playoff bracket here. Carolina versus Nashville or Dallas, but I'm using Nashville because they're currently the team in line and they're more likely to make the playoffs. Carolina is hot. They have gotten a point in every game since April 12th. So they are definitely producing. They are ready to go. Their goaltending is solid. Their defense is solid versus Nashville, who is very streaky of late. If they can get a hot streak, I don't necessarily know if they'll be able to take out Carolina just because they're not, they don't have the firepower. They have the defense, but they don't necessarily have the firepower to do it. Carolina won the season series between these two teams, six games to zero. Now, these two teams do play a crucial, crucial two game series right before the playoffs start. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens between that. I do think Carolina will win this series, though, with ease as they have yet to lose to Nashville. Florida v. Tampa is the most interesting series in the first round to me. This is going to be one heck of a series. Florida is doing well. Tampa Bay is heating up as we head into the playoffs. Both teams have clinched. It's going to be a great series. This series is tied up at three games a pop right now. They play two games very soon. So I'm very, very interested in this series. I basically did a coin flip to see who I thought would win. I have Tampa Bay barely coming out on top. I'm assuming Stamkos will be back. So that's my assumption. If he is, cool. If he isn't, the edge goes towards Florida. It looks like Stamkos might not be back. If he is, he might come back like a game or two into the series. We'll have to see. So that matches up Carolina v. Tampa Bay for the Central Finals. And this series, just like before, is knotted up at four apiece. So this is going to be a very interesting series, Carolina versus Tampa Bay. Who do I think is going to win? Sorry, Tampa. I think you guys are great. I know you want to, you know, repeat. The problem is Carolina is hotter right now. Carolina is healthy right now. Carolina will unfortunately win the Central. Lastly, we have the West. So the West has Vegas in first place with 74 points. Colorado right behind them with 70. Minnesota with 68 is in third. St. Louis is currently hanging on to that last place with 53 points. Now, Arizona has 50, San Jose has 45, the Kings have 44. Those three teams are all still alive, but each game that St. Louis is playing, they are just burying these other teams. They are doing decent right now. 
On the flip side, Anaheim is the only team eliminated from the West. So St. Louis probably has this last spot locked up. They had games in hand over the Coyotes. And really, the Sharks and the Kings are both just waiting to get knocked out at this point. So that brings us here, where Vegas plays St. Louis in the first round matchup. And this will be a good one. Vegas is getting hot at the right time. All right. St. Louis is also hot right now. So this will be a very good matchup. I have one team coming out on top, and that is Vegas. Why? They're kind of cruising. They're competing for the President's Trophy, but they're not going to be putting their heart and soul out right now. They don't need to. They're not going to be as tired as St. Louis. That works in their favor. St. Louis is going to be exhausted. They have to fight for this last playoff spot. They're going to be, they're going to be you know, tired. Vegas should be able to take a commanding 2-0 lead right off the bat. That should be enough to bury St. Louis. Lastly, we have Colorado versus Minnesota. This will be an interesting series too. Colorado was hot before they had to pause their season for a viral illness. And now they've been iffy since return, their return, but they do have two weeks left of hockey. So they should be able to recover that momentum. Fingers crossed if you're an Avalanche fan. Minnesota is also hot. However, they're gonna have a slight pause before the playoffs start for them. So that's gonna favor Colorado to an extent. Now, Colorado won the season series five games to three. Vegas also beat St. is leading St. Louis five, four to two. I should have said that before, but that's why I have Colorado taking this series over Minnesota. It's been a great run for Minnesota, and I could easily see them coming out and defeating Colorado. It's going to be a very interesting series. It's going to be if Colorado has their momentum or not. If they do, they will win. If they don't, Minnesota will win. Minnesota is like a 500 team against these top tier teams of Colorado and Vegas, so they can easily be a sleeper. So now I have Vegas v. Colorado for the Western Final, as everyone predicted right when the season started. And this will be a good one. Colorado has been playing, like I said, streaky. Vegas has been doing well. Vegas won the season. Vegas is leading the season series, sorry, 4-3. to three. They have one more game left. I think Vegas will win this series over Colorado. Similar to what I said about St. Louis, I just think that they're in a little bit of trouble. Colorado will be. They'll be playing way too much. They'll be a little more exhausted. Now, I could see them coming out on top. It's just less likely than Vegas coming out on top. Vegas has the goaltending. Colorado does too, but I think Vegas has this in hand. So the way I have it, with the way the standings will be, Carolina will have the one seed. Vegas will have the two. Pittsburgh will have the three, and Toronto will have the four. Now, if you're wondering, that goes by their season points. As of right now, Carolina has 75, Vegas has 74, Toronto and Pittsburgh each have 71. However, right now, with the way the standings are, Pittsburgh will have the top seed over Toronto because they have more wins. However, they have played one more game, but at this point in time, Pittsburgh is over Toronto. So, now we get to the actual playoffs, the Stanley Cup Final Four. So, Carolina v. Toronto. This will be one heck of an offensive matchup. This will be a matchup everyone will want to watch. Everyone will be excited for this one. I, I'm excited for this matchup. Explosive fireworks. It's going to be, Carolina is one of the few teams that, if they can actually stay healthy, can score a goal-for-goal goal pace with Toronto. They will have the home ice advantage over Toronto, seeing as they have the better record as of right now, which will help them. So it's going to be interesting. Obviously, these teams have not played this year. I don't know how they're going to be doing the whole Toronto thing. I don't know if Toronto is going to be able to play their home games against Carolina in Toronto or if they're going to have to settle for a United States site. That will hurt them if they do. But I'm going to assume they're able to play in Toronto because the NHL has yet to officially say anything about that. This will be one of the best matchups. I think this could easily be the Stanley Cup matchup. So one of these two teams is going to be disappointed. It's going to come down to streakiness. Right now, Austin Matthews is on fire for Toronto. Other players are starting to heat up. Of course, uh, William Nylander is still coming back. If he can start producing, if Tavares can keep up the pace, they could be able to knock out Carolina. Carolina's goaltending, like I said before, they're playing better than expected. Their defense is playing better than expected. Shvetchnikov's doing great. Ajo's doing great. Tara Vine is still a real question mark. If he comes back and if he starts producing, that'll probably be the edge for Carolina. This one's another real coin toss. 
I'm going to go with a bit of an upset. I'm going to say Toronto should be able to knock off Carolina just given their offensive firepower. Yes, I understand I might get caught out for a bias against Carolina, but I think Toronto, their offense is there. They know that this is their one year. They have to prove it. Otherwise, they very well might find themselves on the outside looking in when it comes to job security for next year. Because remember, this is a lot of their guys. They're on big contracts. They might have to blow up the team if they don't do well. So that leaves the biggest, the two seed versus Pittsburgh, the three seed. This will be another good matchup. Of course, you have the Marc-Andre Fleury revenge tour, possibly. So Vegas is the only Western team I have actually making the playoffs, or the, the Final Four, I should say. I'd be very excited to watch this. Like I said, Marc-Andre Fleury revenge tour. How will it go? So Vegas is doing well as of late. Their offense is firing. Their defense is looking okay. The goaltending is playing well. On the flip side, Pittsburgh is also doing well. Their goaltending is clicking at the right time. Their offense is clicking at the right time. Now, by this point, I think I think Malkin should be back. That helps Pittsburgh a lot. He's a veteran. He has the experience. Crosby and Malkin versus, of course, Marc-Andre Fleury and the, the lot from Vegas. So Pittsburgh got eliminated last year, embarrassingly enough, as the 5 seed. They got knocked out by Montreal, the 12 seed, before they even had a chance to make the playoffs. That was embarrassing as all heck for the Penguins. They have a chip on their shoulder. They know they need to play well. This very well might be Pitt, you know, Crosby and Malkin's last time to actually be a top-tier team where they have a real chance on making a cup run. They know this. That's why they went out and got Jeff Carter. He has the experience. He's played in the West. He's played Vegas. That's key. He has played Vegas this year. That is a crucial note. He should be able to tell you, yes, Vegas does this. Vegas has been doing that this year. That is crucial. On the flip side, of course, Marc-Andre Fleury knows a lot of the Penguins. He should be able to help beat them. Now, without stats of these two teams playing this year, it makes it that much more difficult to predict who will win. But I think this will be a very close matchup that will see Vegas just come out on top. It'll be close. It'll be a very close matchup. I could see this game, this series, both these series easily go into seven. This game, this series, I think, is the one that I'm more interested in to an extent because really, one of these teams matches up well with Toronto, the other is okay. So Vegas gets their second chance at a Stanley Cup run. I could easily see Pittsburgh knocking them out, but I think Vegas just has the will to do it. So that matches up Toronto v. Vegas. So you have the memes of 1967 versus the expansion team that has never won a Stanley Cup, albeit this is their fourth season in existence. So I'm not concerned about that. Who do I think will win? The firepower of Toronto? or the solid depth of Vegas. This will be one heck of a Stanley Cup, but I said one team matches up well against Toronto, the other doesn't. Unfortunately, Vegas is not the team that matches up well with Toronto. Toronto's high octane offense, strong defense, is gonna to be too much for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas is a great team. Vegas is an amazing team. Vegas is one of the best teams in the league, obviously. They're probably second in line for the President's Trophy right now. If the season were to end today, they obviously would be. I think they have a legitimate chance to win the President's Trophy over Carolina. But Toronto is just too good. Austin Matthews is going to be too much himself to keep Vegas away. Toronto will be your 2021 Stanley Cup winners. If I had to guess a game differential... I would say four to one, maybe four to two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. These were my NHL playoff predictions for the 2021 season with a week to go. Again, if you have a, if you agree with me, please feel free to say so. If you disagree with me, definitely feel free to say so. I'm aware that this series right here is probably going to be a big one. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good rest of your day.